General Jessa's warning was true. The Sith has come for us. Men, rally around me. The fight is upon us. I didn't think a single assailant could make it through Castle Organa's defenses all the way here to us. The Organa guards are well trained. It was quite a challenge. It will feel like child's play compared to facing me, Sith. You will not harm Parvin and Gregor Wilson. I vow it. No one has to get hurt over this. So, you murdered countless innocents to get here, and now you want to make friends. Please, Master Jedi. I realize the Sith can't be trusted, but I want to hear this. Fine. Say your peace, Sith. I'm not going anywhere, and I will protect them, no matter what. I'm here to do things for them, not to them. Then there's no need for further violence. Sith, what is it you want? Gregor, this has to do with Jaysa. I just know it. Yes, I'm here because of your daughter. I knew she shouldn't have gone with the Jedi. Now the Empire is hunting her. Sith, Jaysa was our life. She was going to marry Organa nobility so that we would no longer have to be servants. When she left, we sacrificed that dream. We don't know anything about Jaysa now. We were told we would probably never see her again. We are mere servants. What could you want with us? I'm here to deliver you from servitude. You... you want to help us? No, Gregor. The Sith is toying with us before killing us. Heed your wife's warning, Gregor Wilson. Sith are devious and demented. Is that what you mean, Sith? By killing us, you end our life of servitude? C can't you spare us? You'll survive the day if you become my subjects. What do you mean by this? What is to happen to us if we do as you say? I'll see to it that you live like kings. Dirty, no good Cretan! Marvin, Jason has gone off to a life of discipline and detachment. We are unlikely to ever see her again. The Sith is offering us a way out of this, a, a way to live. Jason is sensitive, Gregor. She will feel our betrayal. It will fester in her. Don't you see? This Sith is banking on that. Did you hear me say you'll live like kings? My wife can't see the big picture. You offer a choice between death or pledging ourselves to our daughter's enemy. I choose that Parvin and I live in the arms of the Empire, and I trust that my daughter will understand and remain strong. Your wife has to agree as well. Please, my sweet, stand with me on this. My place is with you, Gregor. As long as we're alive, there's hope. We are in agreement. We shall embrace the Empire. Tell us what happens next. You'll receive instructions at the Imperial Landing. <clears throat> I'm so glad you've all found an accord. But there's still the matter of you being our enemy, Sith. Not only will I not allow the Wilsons to do this, but you had yourself a killing spree getting here. That can't go unpunished. This is a peaceful solution, Jedi. Honor it. Yes, Master Volrider. Stay true to the Jedi Code and keep the peace. Too many have died already today. Gregor and I go of our own free will and spare this house any further pain. This doesn't sit right. But I can't attack someone walking in peace. Even a Sith. You just saved your life. The code is everything, Sith. But I wouldn't expect you to respect it. Leave out the back door to avoid further casualties. I'll say nothing further. Ah, 
apprentice, the Sith Fenris who attends Duke Kendo, was able to patch me through to you directly. Excellent. I am seeking an update. News of your search for Jason Wilson's family has reached me, and I am quite concerned. No cause for concern. I sent her parents to you. Really? Excellent thinking. As I torture them, their pain will scream into the galaxy and torment their daughter. I promise them riches, and I believe it will be more effective if they live fruitfully. Ah, oh, very conniving. The happier they are under Imperial rule, the more it will tear at the Jedi's heart. I would make it so. You eclipse my greatest hopes for you, and prove you belong at my side. Which makes my susceptibility to Duke Kendo's gossip about you all the more foolish. Are you going to tell me what that maggot said, or not? First off, Kendo said that you set an explosion that caused the death of several Thule dignitaries. That was just collateral damage from our mission. No, oh, I see. No matter then. Kendo also said that you helped the Republic defend their front in Organa's war against House Ulgo, painting you as a traitor. Doing so expedited my mission. Well, I do not care about the trivial war on Alderaan. All that matters to me is that your mission is complete. For whatever reason, the man has taken it upon himself to slander you. I have no further use for Duke Kendo. Punish him however you please. If it were me, he'd pay severely. Looks like it's time for a bloodbath. Do what you will, but quickly. Until we destroy the threat of Jason Wilson, nothing else is important. Goodbye, apprentice. You're good to go.